Anywhere that there's people being transported in mass on a bus without seatbelts is, is ridiculous. Our motivation from the beginning has been to save lives. One thing that really made me move forward with this project was concern for my own daughter on tour buses that we use for school field trips. Went off the road on I-95. Sunday's deadly tour bus crash. Yeah. Every day you hear of a new motor coach accident where they roll over or they roll on their sides and masses of people are hurting these things. So if we can keep them in their seats, their chances are much greater to survive. I'm a retired New York City firefighter. Besides fighting fires, you go to lots of motor vehicle accidents. I've seen plenty of those and realized the trauma that comes with all of that. And I own an auto recycling uh, facility. I've had some really bad wrecks over the years come in. You know some of them didn't survive. It just seemed like a natural thing to try and come up with a device that would save lives. So there's nothing about this that is by accident. Charlie and I meet probably at least twice a week for the last four years to work on this. We have about $125,000 invested in this whole project between the both of us right now. Just the action of just, just doing this snugs it to the seat. A lot of it's gone into the patent end of it there, but uh, you know, the testing. We had it tested to the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard. The design worked perfectly during the crash test. It, it just it performed flawlessly. The first and only portable personal seatbelt. As of 2017, newly manufactured buses will be required to have three-point seatbelts. Buses that are on the road now will be on the road for the next 10 or 15 years, and they're not going to be required to have seatbelts. to stir the people up, get the buzz going, and I think the crowdfunding is definitely a way to get the awareness out there. Which is more or less just get it in the bag and anyway. What we're looking for is to raise enough money to uh, make the molds for all the parts and pieces. Put together the first thousand belts, hopefully. And have it made right here in the USA. We're just hoping that the people out there would see the need for it and be willing to help out. Yeah, be part of the movement to get these on buses as quickly as possible. We're really just trying to save some lives here. Yeah, and give people the choice that uh, about wearing seatbelts. I mean, they don't have a choice. Uh, it's 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 crazy.